So hey guys, today we're going to be looking at this AEG. It is a Radar uh, 5633 is the model number. It is a Geiger counter to check, make sure you have, uh, you're going to check basically for nuclear stuff. So when it comes, if you look on the back, there will be a QR code to scan and some stuff in there. It's really lightweight. It weighs less than a pound. So when I open it up, it comes in a very nice little handy dandy case. Uh, once again, this is lightweight. This is a hard plastic clamshell case. So when it opens up, it's going to look like this. And it has six different languages, user manual. And inside, each of the six pages, it's 15 pages for each of the languages. So when you're looking at it, it tells you the different things, how to turn it on and off. Basically, we're going to go over a quick review. You have a nice foam packaging for it. It has a USB C USB to C charger. I like the way they put the design on that as well. So basically, if you use a phone charger, you can use like that or plug it into a USB. You'll see there's foam on the top and I like a softer foam down here. It has the handy wrist strap if you want to install that as well. The counter itself is right here. Very lightweight. You look up here is where you would put through. If you want to put your strap, it would go through this little loop right through here. Down here is where your USB to C charger would go in. So you're basically going to operate it like this. You're going to turn it on. Push your start button. It'll come on and it's running through its tests. So when you come on, it's basically saying 0 0.04 right now. So you can go to different pages on it. See the different things down here scanning across the bottom. So you push OK. And you push OK, it brings up many menus here. You have your measure to check it. It has schedule, so you can schedule it to run at certain times. Uh, it has your records. Anything you want to delete. It has an alarm you can set up. You can set up your units. You can put it on sleep mode, clock mode, or sound mode. So if you want to test, you just basically you're going to put... You can go back and forth to your pages. You'll see as I move this back and forth, these get bigger. So if I want to look at my records, I would go there. I want to look at my unit of measure or my measurements. I'm going to go to the first one. I'm going to hit OK. And that's the one that comes up. So this basically will measure as you're going. It stays on and it checks. So we have no radiation here. It's 0 .07. Um, one way you could probably test this is put it next to your microwave when it's running. Um, but we shouldn't have any any radiation. But it's nice to have one of these to check. Or if you live in a place where you fear there may be radiation or some kind of toxicity, this is nice to have. You see it moved to 0 0.12. So we're going to go back again to OK. We're going to check the schedule. See, I can go in there and select a date or start time and all that stuff. I can go in and set it up. I can go back out, go to the next one, my records. There's no data because I've not done anything to it. I can delete anything that I have, which we just showed you there's nothing there. Go in here and set up an alarm. Set it to however you want it. You go to the next one. Your units of measure, you can set it up there. How you want it set, checked, measured. You go to the sound, you can set that up. How loud you want it. Say we got it set on 8, that's the way it came. Down here the alarm is 1. So we go to the next one, your clock, it's not set up properly because we just got it and opened it up. And then your sleep timer, so you can set that up as well. So the main one you're going to be using 90% of the time is going to be your measure. And you'll see, this runs all the time. When it's turned on, it's staying on. So 0, 0, 0.12 is still, you look, it's green. Right there, it just dropped to 0 0.07. Basically for moving it around, you move it different rooms, but your dosage level is in the green. If you start getting into yellow, you need to start seeing what's wrong. You get into these numbers here, that is very dangerous. If you get into that kind of an area, you need to find out what's going on and you need to probably evacuate because that's not good. That means it's dangerous. Uh, this unit is, very, like I said, very lightweight. Their speakers are here. Do not submerse this in water. Um, it will ruin it. You look on the side here. It has nice side foam grips. It has a nice soft cover, but it will ruin it to get water inside. The water will penetrate through these holes and it will ruin it. 
So you need to make sure you take care of it. If you need to wipe it off, take like a wet wipe, wipe, wipe and wipe it down, clean it. And then right here, you just remove that if you want to. I'm going to leave mine on. It doesn't seem to hurt anything. You notice mine's bouncing between 0 0.07 and it does go up some, but it's still in the green. As I move around, it goes up and down. You just need to make sure you stay in this area here and you should be good to go. So we're going to do our review. You hold that down. It shuts it down. So if you live in an area or you fear that you might be in some place that has toxicity or you think they may have some kind of uh, nuclear waste, some kind of contamination, this is great for you to have. It's lightweight. It's easy to carry. Uh, we will put the link in the description to get one of these. But this unit is handy to have if you need you're concerned about anything like that and you have it on hand you can check it anytime you want we will put once again we'll put the link in the description like subscribe give us a thumbs up thanks for watching and this is the aeg tester user manual this is the radar 5633 so it comes with all this stuff in this nice case and we definitely recommend this if this is something that you are worried about any kind of radiation or something like that this is a quick easy tester for you